But I just thought, like, my real name, John Gonzalez, would just sound really weird when you're, like, putting out music. And then I'm like, you know, I call myself Nuna Makuna, all, like, all the time as a kid and baby and whatever. So, you know, I'll just stick with that. Just because uh, I feel like that's more, I think that stays around more than John Gonzalez because John Gonzalez sounds like a spy name or something. All right. Hi, I'm Nuna Makuna. I'm 21 years old. I'm from the northern suburbs of Chicago, and I'm an aspiring music artist. Uh, does it look clear? Does everything look all right? Yeah, this one girl showed me a uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. And I was like, wow, this song's really cool. Because like before that, I really wasn't listening to any music. I don't know why. This was like completely new. Like It just sounded really cool. And I was like, wow, I kept listening to that song like for like, a week. And I was like, wow, I want to learn how to play this on an instrument. And guitar was like really hard at first because it hurt my fingers. So I was like, now I'm going to try this on bass. I was basically like that until my junior year of high school when I started to get getting into writing music. I just started writing with my guitar and everything. Um, I wasn't recording or anything, and I was doing that for some time, and then like, I just stopped after probably like my first year out of high school because I was just I was just like, damn it, I just want to be normal. What I was going through, like, after uh, high school and college, it was just like, you know, I don't know, I don't really know. I guess I just kind of, like, gave up in a way, you know? And I was, I was trying to find myself better, but I wasn't being myself. And then let's go back into uh, probably around May. That's when I started getting into music, uh, like, a lot again, because, like, the boy got his heart broken, so... After that, I just, like, started experimenting with, like, my Studio One program that I never really, like, got around to using. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'm just gonna keep practicing at this until I get better at it. And I released my first EP back in September, I think. It was called 330. And then after that, I really sold skin that just came out on February 7th. I was like, I was having a lot of nightmares during this time. I was waking up at like 3.30 in the morning almost every night. I was like hearing like noises and stuff. Uh, it was, uh, I mean, that's why I called it 3.30 too, because I just kept waking up at that time. I, I was just like having just like these weird, like weird, weird dreams where I just like see like a bunch of people who I knew back like back in high school or like in my current life right now. Uh, and they were just like completely different people. Like they were like who they were, but like their faces were distorted and everything. Uh, had like, had, had like a bunch of like weird demon dreams too. It was really weird. I was just trying to capture that whole like sound cause it was kind of how I felt after just like having like my whole like old persona like tear it apart, you know? It's kind of like rebirth, but it was also just trying to like experiment with the studio one in production. That's yeah, that's basically the whole story behind it. Well, it was basically all about like after like this breakup I had. Uh, I guess it was definitely like I was in an unhealthy situation at first. This thing started spiraling downhill when I noticed who she really was. And, you know, she lied about a bunch of stuff. And I mean, I found out. So I was like, I mean, I mean, this girl was engaged and didn't tell me or anything. I was like, like, why? yeah, why wouldn't you tell me? I mean, she was like a year and a half older than me, but I was like 20. She was, she was 22. But... I was I, I and I just felt like really like I just I just felt really like unappreciated and stuff. Yeah, it was it was it was really weird and I was like Yeah, I just felt like so 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 who am I to you then? Uh you know, it's a passion, man. Uh Sometimes I'll just, I'll, I'll be up to like five in the morning, like working on songs and stuff. Like I, I don't see myself really doing anything else. 
but it's just building my way to that career that's like, going to be the hard part and I'm just, I'm just going to keep trying you know I'm going to push EP after EP after EP until like something happens for me it's therapeutic just to express myself that, that, that way but, and I hope that some like some people can just like listen to music and just relate and feel better about themselves too at the same time that's really like what I want to get out of it and we'll see what happens after that is that alright? alright dope uh, that's it for the interview part right? alright I kind of wanted to show you that one loop if you wanted to hear it